Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video vlog, blog, whatever you want to call it. If you are new here, go check out my channel. It is pretty fresh still. This is, I think, my third or fourth video. So it's just getting started. Make sure you go and subscribe for future updates and content, whatever else I post on here. Um, and if at the end of this video, if you liked it, give this uh, video a like, comment, whatever, share, do whatever, I don't care. But anyways, I'm here and I am two days away, let's say Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yep, two days away basically, uh, till show day. We are, I'm working for a production company down in Wichita and they have a singer, Rodney Adkins is the singer who will be doing the concert and production company wanted me to do the lighting so I designed a small stage for them, super basic, and I'm gonna go program Actually, I'm doing that right now. I'm gonna pro program and do lights for them. So uh, I've got a little small setup in the visualizer right here in Kamsis. Uh, I try to post a little bit of the how-to, so if you are new at Kamsis and wanna check it out, uh, there's some, I think there's two videos on my channel that you can go to, and they might be even in a playlist. I don't know, but go to my channel and check them out if you got some trouble in Kamsis or you're just learning. Uh, go check them out. But Got the campus open up here on my secondary screen and my desk is a mess. You can see my bad eating habits of Nutella. I don't know, is this supposed to be healthy for you? I don't know. Two days away, what's gonna happen is with my busy schedule, they're actually setting up the stage and everything tomorrow and then I'm heading down there. I'm like a hundred and something miles away right now. I'm gonna head down there and they'll have everything programmed in for me on the fixture, so everything will be addressed and patched and hung and cabled, and all the universes will be set and everything. And so, all I'll have to do is go down there, plug my USB and load my show file, and then adjust positions, colors, and everything else to how the stage is set up. So it should be pretty easy in that part. I'm getting some looks here and positions done. Um, the fixtures that they're using are the Art Fox 5Rs or 7Rs, the, basically a Sharpie. They're really good. If you've never seen the Chinese product of Art Fox, I highly recommend them for a Chinese product. They're not too bad. They're basically a complete replica of the Sharpie. Um, but they're the Sharpies, those 7Rs from Art Fox. Uh, got color band picks, minis going on here, and then some Chave, the ellipsoidal, ellipsoidal single channel, double or triple channel LEDs basically a source for LED. And then let's see what else we got here. We got American DJ Inno Pocket Wash. I always wanna say Pocket Spot, um, but Inno Pocket Wash for the small wash fixtures. Super powerful for these tiny guys that are like the size of my hand, the, the little light, and they're super fast. Um, but then also we got, for this truss right here, we got, let's see, 12, I already mentioned the other photos, but we got, four Chave Q-Spot 460 LEDs on here. So it's basically a pretty simple rig. It's gonna get some great looks and should be a fun time. By the way, forgot to mention the production I'm work, production group I'm working for is Douglas Production Group. The group, okay. Um, so it's Douglas Production Group or otherwise known as DPG. They're out of Wichita, Kansas. I've worked for them before on other gigs and they are an outstanding group to work with. Their crew is fun, they, safety is a high priority. Everything goes smoothly, they get the job done. But I just wanted to let you know and expose them that it's the, that Douglas Production Group is the production group. I am, that's, that, I'm getting stuck on that group, production group. Okay, but that's the production group I'm working for. back back at my home base my apartment whatever uh, concert went really well actually so they had an opener it was a cover band and then they had Rodney Atkins come out to a preset uh, uh, opening song so they wanted the stage dark and then it to explode into something when the drums hit it was kind of confusing uh, but it all worked out in the end um, 
the problem I had with with everything is that so I patched in earlier on into Kansas I patched in I don't know I think it was like 14 or whatever of those color band picks minis well in the Kansas library there are three color like two or three color band picks minis by Chauvet and so I had to kind of guess on which one to choose and then so I chose the wrong one and selected then 36 channel well when I got there I was told they only have up to 18 channels so what they did is I uh, sent them an Excel spreadsheet of all the the universes the addresses and everything of how each truss and wh whatever light how it was set up and so what they did since I wasn't there I didn't get there till 3 30 yet in the afternoon because I had other stuff going on um, and they got there at 8 a.m. so they were setting up all day so what they did was they put each fixture on the the same channel that each individual fixture was the ones that are in 36 channel in the in the patch list but since these are 18 channel they just set them in each of those channel marks so they're all they're all in the same patch order and everything and so it, it worked out okay i had to do some quick programming right before everything started the other problem i had is i cannot figure it out on these uh fixtures in the the 18 channel mode even with the 36 channel mode on the ones i didn't select correctly they don't have a dimmer or a virtual dimmer like a normal fixture would on campuses so what happened is you select the the fixture the um color bands and then you press intensity it doesn't show zero to 100 it stays at zero and just turns on a white light and then you select your color or if you have if, or if you press the fixture, then press the color, and then press the intensity button, it does the same thing with the, whatever color you press. So it was kind of either off or on throughout the show, whether they were off or they were on 100% completely. Uh, and that many of those heading straight towards the audience basically was a blinder. It kind of threw off the, uh, the depth of the stage. It made everything kind of look flat. So really, it was kind of... I didn't like it, it was annoying. I was taking a risk on figuring out, oh, I need to do research on how to change it. If you know, let me know in the comments section uh, or shoot me an email. I think I have my email address in here somewhere on the about tab in the channel. But if you know how to, how to fix that, comment in the comment section, get in contact me, with me, personal message me, whatever. That'd be awesome if I could figure that out. So then I can use them for another show because I actually have two shows after this. This stage was designed f for uh, two shows in October, and then the Rodney Adkins show just this weekend came up, and uh, so I was told about that, so I was like, eh, let's use the same stage. And so this stage is gonna be the next two other stages, so if I can program them correctly and get everything working, then I can use these in my next two shows, and hopefully they work out a lot better than they did. I'm a little disappointed. It gave some cool looks, especially how it could kind of pixel map everything uh, with all the pixels, but it was a little disappointing how those are either off or on. Uh, I didn't get, get to do any videos or photos really during the concert. There was no, I haven't met the, any photographer. If there even was one there, I didn't see any. Uh, I, was, I was too busy with my, both my hands controlling the board, so I couldn't just pick up my phone, snap a picture on one of the, the upbeat tempo, up tempo songs. So those, I think I put two photos in here that are just of the guys standing. I think it's of, or of Rodney Atkins standing in the middle and the beams are pointed at him. That's kind of like the only time I really had a chance to pick up my phone, snap a few pics. And then uh, the other pictures are after the concert was over and they turned on the generator lights to start tearing down stage and everything. So they're not the best pictures, but you kind of get the idea of, of what the this, this stage looked like and a little bit of the looks that I could get. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, press that like button, comment, let me know any comments you have on the video, whatever. I always like to hear some feedback. Don't forget to subscribe and also follow my business uh, account on Instagram by searching on track lights and also visit me on Facebook on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash on track lights.
Thanks for watching.